All right, we are back on some more Red Dead Redemption 1. Let's go. This game has been so freaking fun. Oh, I can't wait to play more. So last episode, um, we saw John, introduced to John. He was on a train in Blackwater. Then he rode all the way to Armadillo to go find Bill Williamson. He did at Fort Mercer. Then I don't know what John thought he could do. He tried to pull out the revolver. That's not a revolver, try to do one of these. And it completely failed and he got shot. And as some girl picked us up, brought her to this place, got healed up, and now we're gonna help her now. So here uh, this is called McFarland's Ranch. Uh I don't know what that is. Oh, let me see what this is. McFarland's Ranch. Oh, I think this is the help for the for patrol. Oh, oh, it's a dog. I don't, yeah, I can't do it. All right. I was gonna make sure I can't do it. Stop all criminals you encounter by any means necessary before morning. All right, let's do it. Do I see anything suspicious? I don't. Some cows over there. Do I see any like coyotes? Zoom out the map. Alright, dog. I'm just gonna follow him. I feel like he knows what he's doing. He has the good senses. Just get the revolver out. John Nurse. I wonder if there's like a a weight mechanic in this game. Or if you eat too much, you know, you get freaking fat. If you eat less, you become skinny. I don't know. I don't know if they had that type of technology. Back then, 2010. Alright. Any criminals? I feel like it would be something by the train station. This is where people can get dropped off at. Anyone up there? Uh, any wolves? Anyone here? No one robbing this place, right? I'm gonna check. I look like we're clear. Oh crap, you think you hear something? What's going on? Oh, sorry. I guess I have to follow them. So this is just like um patrol for this uh, ranch over here. Make sure no one tries to rob us, kill us, steal stuff. Well rob is the same thing. Oh no. Oh no. Get the gun out. Oh, come on. Get out of here. Jeez. Steal the horses, man. What happens? You get freaking domed. Alright. You know, yeah, let's get my reward. Thank you, kind sir. I'm sorry. Followed twins outfit menu entry updated? What? Hold on. Hey, hey, hey. Hmm. Alright. I'm gonna turn up the audio. It's at freaking max. I didn't know that. Alright. And cheats? You know what? I won't mess with this because I think this is gonna mess up my trophies. I wanna get all the trophies on this game. I mean, I'm not gonna get like all of it, but like, you know. Alright. Bala twin, I want to see what that outfit is. I know this is John's classic outfit. This is the way you get the first time in the epilogue of Red Dead 2. Oh, gentleman's attire. Oh, this one. Search Thieves Landing. When at Horseshoes in McFarland's Ranch. Claim a Bala twin's gang bounty alive. Defend residents of Henningstead from the Bollard Twins gang. Purchase at the tailor and thieves landing. Okay. Alright. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. So you have to, like, do objectives to unlock outfits. See, that's cool. I would have done that. That should have been a thing in Red Dead 2. Give you more content to do. Alright. 
Money. Check back between five and ten. All right, fine. Guess we gotta go sleep. Hello, dog. Can I pet the dog? What's up, bro? Don't jump, John. All right, I guess he can't pet it. Let's see if I can. Wait, how much money do I have? I'll right, check. I'll right, check. Fifteen dollars. Well, I guess. Oh, wait, isn't that how much I need to pay for the medical bills? Cause I got shot. Good job, John Marston. Yo, horse, can you chill out? Okay. Whoa, 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 dog. I don't want to freaking run you over. That would not be a good thing. Bro, this running animation is so goofy. Oh my god. Alright, let's sleep. I think it's like six hours that go by if you sleep. So let's sleep. Uh, we'll do this one, I guess. Yes. I'm gonna save my game. Alright. Now let's go do a mission with Bonnie. Such a cool name, Bonnie. I'm gonna check out the general store. If it's open. Oh, hello. Oh, what is that? You know, like, celery? Is anyone even in here? Can I, like... Can I rob it? No? Oh, oh, oh hi! Hi, sir! Yeah, I totally wasn't doing anything. Uh... Uh, yeah, uh, have a good day, sir. I totally wasn't gonna do anything. <laughs> I was about to freaking rob that place, but... Alright, we gotta do this mission with money. I don't want people hating on me. So, let's do it. Oh, there's loading screens between cutscenes. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you, how are you? Well, I'm fine, thank you. So, uh... How are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, I'm doing nothing happy. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson. What you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and... By telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people mm. I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets, so us country folk mm. are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. Huh. We'll see. There's no way. Alright. Come on, let's do this. Come on. Whoa! Almost ran over that dog. On the count of three. Three, two, one, go! go. I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this! Oh, I went the wrong way! Come on, let's go. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm losing. I'm gonna lose. How is your horse not drained of stamina? Come on, it's cheating. She's cheating. She's a horse to win. Oh my god! Jeez, what did I just do? Let's go. 
go, go, go. Why just freaking ran over the fire? Go, 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 John Marston. I'm catching up. I'll be quiet. Isn't this jolly? Crap! No! Come on. My horse sucks, man. The stamina. Yeah, I I for sure lost this. Yeah, her horse has ran out of stamina once. I'm pretty sure. Come on! Come on! Yeah. Call yourself a rancher. Go. Get out of here. There's no way I just won. Let's go. go there. Oh my god. Well, I was losing the first half. That was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. All right. Fame plus 20. What is that? I'm actually in the special dance event. We'll talk to Charles and M on the map. All right, bet. All right, I'm gonna talk to the M over here, and then we'll do Bonnie's mission. That is a note about, about if you return a root agent, you will find many establishments close their doors to you. All right. I'll try not to do bad things then. Wow, uh, okay, so Marshall Johnson's all the way over here in Armadillo. You know what, we can go to Armadillo, I guess. Why not, let's go see what's over there. Come on, we're still running to the freaking thing. Oh, I forgot to place the waypoint. There we go. Alright, let's ride. Alright. Let's go talk to this guy over here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> <coughs> oh. Shut up, you. Now, what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did. Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. <laughs> you that fella <laughs> from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. <laughs> Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. Come on, what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. <laughs> you must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. He seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. 
<laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister. And I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. <sighs> Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. All right. I didn't realize I wasn't recording like a whole part of this. So basically, me and the sheriff we were talking in the sheriff's office, and we basically have to help this guy out to gain his like trust or something. And we're chasing this uh, bad guy right now, so let's do it. <clears throat> Got him! Oh my God! Got him! Loot him. Bop, bop. Loot this guy. Oh, got him. Quiet. Oh, hey, John Morrison. Loot his body. Yeah, I didn't realize I wasn't recording for like the whole sheriff part. Oh my God, how do I? Try to take him alive. I want that back. How do you want me to take him alive? My guy? Oh, I have to like shoot him in the legs. Got him. Get out shot, of here. Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. <laughs> I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Mr. Marston? I still got my shot, at least. I mean, there's lock on, obviously. Let's see if I can, like, get this place. Got anything in here? No. Oh. What guy here? Oh, we got $82? That's what I like to see. 
I look this guy. Oh, this other guy. Am I hearing gunshots? What am I feel like I'm hearing something? All right, there we go. Yeah, let's do another mushroom mission. This is kind of fun. All right, I need my horse. What are those noises? Oh crap, what is going on over here? Who are you? Hello? Don't mind me. Just riding along here. There's gunshots over here. Save the treasure hunter? I got you. Ah. I got you, bro. There's much treasure here. You want maps? I retire. Here. Oh. Well, thank you, sir. I want to see if I can buy like some weapons in here. Um, I don't know where you are. Oh, hi. Hello there. You surely won't regret a purchase. Buffalo rifle bait. Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh, there's a lot of stuff. Why, thank you. Well, never mind. I guess I'm not gonna. No, guess I'm not gonna buy anything. Right. Gotta go over here. Excuse me, lady. Out, lady. Exactly. All right, justice. Hello. Hello, it's Armadillo 731. What is it with these things? Hello, Who is that? it's a new line. Hello, hello. Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. If it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now, guys can get here from the Midwest. And they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest to goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! Uh oh. <coughs> Marshal! I've just been up in the canyon spying, like you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller twins and a couple of Mexicans. Are they up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's going to hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. <laughs> you ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. And it'd be my pleasure. All right, let's do it. Canyon Baller Twins, so that will help with the progress of the outfit. Oh, jeez. How long you been working for the government, Marston? I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram from some federal clouds in Blackwater that says otherwise. Are you some kind of vigilante? You don't look like no government, boy. I guess it's complicated. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight-lipped son of a bitch, mister. I guess <laughs> I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Well, ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Williamson folded you up like an empty purse the last time, if I remember correctly. Simmer down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise... Put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. Ha! <laughs> Jeez, all right. All right there, John Marston. I'll be honest with you, Marston. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. 
All this manifest destiny hogwash came in a wild land. Not far now. Eyes open, boys. Let's do this. Let's be careful. I got the rifle, computer carbine. This is what I'm gonna use. on foot from here head for the fort right. be ready boys hold Probably on let me show you get by now and those bastards ain't short on firepower neither let's see how many there are if we can take them alive good if not smoke the sons of bitches music to my ears marshal music to my ears marshal does he sound like that Oh crap. Come on! Come right here! Not on me! Oh crap, I'm gonna hit a lot. Nice steady now! Don't leave yourself open! Nice shot! <laughs> That's it! <laughs> oh, what don't. Never mind, he's not dumb. Why not? With Press these guys. What you doing back there? Oh my god, he's got a bull hole. That was some pretty damn good shooting, John. Yep. Maybe you ain't the ten foot I thought you was. Coming from you, friend? That's a real compliment. <laughs> oh crap. Are you kidding? Uh, Damn, I lose this body. I need the money. Come on, let's go. Yoink. Oh. Oh, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. I got the rolls. Oh. <laughs> oh, crap. Where are they? Are they up there? Oh, my God. I got a freaking bull on the top of his head. Oh yeah. Oh jeez, there's a lot of people over here. Right. Don't just stand there. One bug out me, boy. I'm gonna try to uh get this guy alive. I guess we're gonna kill him then. Forgive me, friend. The bridge looks clear. Let's join the others. <laughs> Let's go. I hope this bridge doesn't fall. Damn, those bother twins got themselves an army. Yeah, wrestling's a profitable business, and they ain't short on willing recruits these days. Why would a man break his back working 12 hours a day? Oh Jesus more. But the rancher can't pay him because those sons of bitches are robbing his cattle. Oh Oh. You might as well give it up now. Want to take one alive. Are you kidding me? Push forward. We got to get to the marsh. 
Marshal! Uh, where's the Marshal? I played too shallow without a reading, boy. <laughs> we should cross the pass with the Marshal up here. Oh, jeez. Marshal here should have seen him mind getting his hands dirty. Oh, he ain't afraid to pull the trigger, all right. And he's been after oh, these cool. rustlers for a long time. he tell you he's all about the book. Did I destroy this, this guy? But he throws out Headshot, out man. Two. Stop falling behind. We gotta put this forward. way. Well, God damn it, how many of these bastards are there? Uh, all right, let's keep pushing forward, boys. Oh, jeez. Oh, got him. There we go. Man, a lock on him in this game is kind of crazy. Yeah, I'm looting them, bro. Relax. Sorry. Man, what are you doing? Why oh, he's coming? What are we doing? Like Bob? Come on, hey, this one, help him. Oh, never mind. All American Venom theme with John Morrison's theme. Such a good song. I am shooting them, bro. I'm shooting them more than you. I don't know what you're talking about, buddy boy. Yeah, you sure did. No, you didn't even kill him. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. You already said that before. Indebted you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. Uh, All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. Say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was the doing that last week. Oh, the narcotic and back piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. 
You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise <laughs> and respectable people. Come on, Eli. All right. Oh, one hundred sixty-four dollars. Ain't that pretty nice? I mean, look at this body. What is the career right there? Plus a hundred honor. Oh, that's pretty nice. What we got in here? All right. I think I'm gonna end it here. If you guys enjoy the part two, make sure to subscribe, like. I'll see you next time. Peace.